What up, guys? What's happening, everyone? Time for another review. Um, Isla Distillery. Gonna review something that's currently available on the market from a distillery that we actually don't talk very much about, but big fan of a distillery that uh, I'm crazy excited to see what the future is gonna be like. Oh, a young, yeah. Younger distillery, so we don't have anything super aged from them. Um, but they put out some some really good products, and this is uh, sex, our second review from this distillery, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, the Kill Olman Sanig. I don't know, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Do you know how to pronounce it? Sanig. Sanig. There you go. Here's the bottle. Um, this consists of obviously no age statement, and it consists of sherry casks and bourbon casks. Said on the box that the majority of the cast is from Sherry. So, uh, yeah. This is bottled at 46%. And without further ado, the nose. And definitely I'll say our first review was Monsieur Bay. Yeah. Which is their lighter, you know, bourbon-based product. Love that product. And love that product. And you can definitely tell the majority Sherry versus that color. That color is almost like a light white wine color. And if I didn't know, I, I would guess, I would guess like a, a Bordeaux or Pinot, like a wine cask mm. influence. Obviously, it's sherry, um, but I wouldn't think like straight Oloroso or PX when I'm nosing this. And it doesn't say what kind of sherry; it just says sherry casks. True. true. It's a, to me, it's almost like the their specific kind of peat, like the peat play. Is almost affecting so yeah like an oloroso sherry dominance isn't isn't occurring correct you're right it's got it's, it's interesting it, and i love the way i love the way this distillery does pee yes it and you can tell that they're taking pride in having quality barley um using good casks and their younger whiskeys don't taste so young no and, That's um, the biggest thing we found. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So a distillery that deserves to be talked about, a distillery where we really need to see what's going to happen, what happens when we start getting 15-year-olds coming out. Yeah. We're already seeing... What's um, the oldest they released? I've seen Gnast. single casks, like 11, 11 to 12. Is it 12 is the oldest or 11? But it's getting up there. Got it. Yeah. It's single casks. So. Yeah. Basically, the future is wide open for this distillery. Really nice, sweet wow. nose. You definitely get a good amount of peat. Yeah. But you get the sweetness. You get you get dark fruits. You get some citrus fruits as well. You get the the peat with the band aids and a slightly medicinal element. I love the, the grassiness, the grassiness and the herbal notes with light citrus fruits and just a little bit of tropical fruits. Yeah, you're definitely getting the elements from bourbon cask fruits and the elements from sherry fruits. Yes. The earthiness that you mentioned for sure. And then um, there's a sweetness element and definitely that peat element. All yeah. done really, all done pretty well. Yes. Really nice. Palette. Let's do it. Palette. Very nice. Goes right along the lines of what I was kind of getting on. The nose follows suit on the palate, perhaps a little bit more stronger peat, a little bit more medicinal. Mm. Definitely getting those fishnets, the uh, the band aid, mm. the tires. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that's there, but it's not the only thing that's there. There's sweetness there too. Definitely getting the fruits there still. 
and it's nice. It's just a nice whiskey. Um, it's about seventy dollar, seventy dollar bottle. Yep. Um, and yeah, I don't think it should be any more than that. Um, it doesn't taste super aged. It doesn't taste too young. And as you guys know, Isla whiskeys, we can definitely handle them young. Five to ten years old can be pretty good. Yeah. Um, especially if you want to experience the fullness of the peat. Yes. Um, and this does that. It's, I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's good. Yeah, they, they brand themselves as Isla's farm distillery. Isla Farm Distillery. And truly that character comes through. And I guess the only thing I would say is, only kind of knocking it is, you can tell the age. Kind of what I'm used to, but a little bit. Being very critically. But overall, its character comes through perfectly on it. Yeah. It's a... Uh... You need to like you need to like peated whiskeys obviously to like this. Um, and it's really nice. The finish is a good medium finish. It leaves you mainly with the earthiness and the peats and a little bit of the fruit as well. I love very it. yeah. It's nice. It's a nice whiskey score score wise. I give this a solid eighty six out of a, out of a hundred. I give it the score. exact same thing. Yeah. Eighty six yeah. out of a hundred. Yeah. Solid. And yeah, I would, it's pretty. You know, I would say at seventy bucks. It's a recommended try if you like Isla whiskey. It's not something I'm telling sure, you to just go sure. like rush out and buy. The Mashir Bay, I think I like a little bit more. Yes. And yeah. that's that around here is about 50 bucks. Mm. 50, 55. Yeah. So it's a little cheaper. So I feel like that's, that's the product I, I, I like to go with. But I'm happy that we have this and, and to try. And exactly. um, you know, there are some unbelievable, I don't want to use the word unbelievable, there's some really, really good bottles from Kill um, yeah. and then we'll review more. All right, you guys, wanted to do a review that's affordable and available for everyone to go try if they want to. So, there we go. We'll see you guys soon for many more. All right, guys, cheers. Cheers.